and may he forever bless us all. Amen. Now if the king would please enter the stage. So this is um, a roleplay server that we're just kind of messing around on. It's semi-serious. It's called Straymont Lands. And so the point of this is we each get assigned um, classes by mostly random draw. And so we perform that role. We, I guess you would say roleplay that role, which is, yeah. And so throughout that, we make an interesting story that hopefully y'all will follow. Now there's a few catches. Some people have increased health or potion effects depending on their class. So if you get lucky, you get a nice class. If you get unlucky, you get a bad class. Also, if you die, there's you're able to be resurrected with a notch apple if um, the king, priest, and executioner decide to. And if you, if not, then you're dead and you just get a random roll of a new class. And so the point of that is so you don't get bored with your own class. So if something happens, you can be reckless, and so it keeps it fresh and not stale. And that's pretty much the main goal of the series is just to have a good time. Hello, my name is Naxa13, or, yeah, and so, basically, as I've previously explained what this is, um, I'm gonna get down into the nitty-gritty of, uh, my character. Um, my character was chosen to be king, um, for why, I don't really have an answer, it just kinda went along with the natural course of things, and so, you know, I rolled with it. Um, then, for hero, um, on the randomizer we had 40 some odd things, but you're not going to have a king who's also a peasant or a prisoner. So hero was the first thing that came up that didn't really, you know, mess it up. So as for backstory, um, I came to power in any other way, just next heir to the throne. Um, that's pretty much it. Hero? Why I'm a hero? I don't know. Um, some people think I do good for the kingdom, others don't think I do, but I guess the ones who think I do, do do good outweigh the ones who think I do bad. Or maybe I am just bad, but the bad people like me, so they praise me like a hero. Well, I don't really know. It could go either way there. Um, so, uh, this is the kingdom here. I'm just going to give you a brief tour. The first episode won't really have much role play in it, because uh, it needs to just explain everything so people understand what's going on. This is the inn. Um, Nexus owns it. He is the royal appointer slash executioner, which he'll probably explain it more in his video, but in short gist, he's judge, jury, and executioner, and he's kind of my second in command, and I let him control the economy. Um, this is, so that's his inn. He makes money from there sometimes. Um, we have a stable over here, which is kind of open for ev anyone to use. Got some horses in it. Not all of them are owned, I don't believe. Here we have uh, Lexin's house. Um, he's a, how you would say, he owns a brothel. So it's a love sanctuary. And he um, does business with people to get the ladies, if you know what I'm saying. Um, down here we have the gallows for um, killing the people that are heretics or we just don't like or steal or commit murder. Um, this house, uh, no one owns it at the moment. It's for sale, I think. I could be wrong. I don't really have to keep up with the happenings of the peasants. Um, same with this house over here. I'm not really sure whose it is. Kind of look. I mean, it looks nice. Um, it's not critics, this house, though. Um, yeah. Now, then there's some certain things like that won't happen right away because they're going to be fitted into story. So if you're suggesting we go do something, this and it's something that you would think would be the logical next step. There's probably a reason why we haven't done it. Um, yeah, we have a wall around the city. We have a zombie problem. You could say it's fairly large. Um, right here we have a bridge to just to get across the lake. Oh, so, here we have the, um, this is the chicken farm. It's really bad. Um, our jester baker, Cheeto, made it, although he's a heretic, if you ask me. We just need a little bit more evidence to, you know, prove it. Um, and then this is his, um, bakery, although it's not really done. 
as you can see here, there's some zombies attacking right now even. Now, I'm the type of king that will help you out if you got a problem. Um, yeah, so, you know, oh, oh, well then, that was odd, oh, oh, uh, I just killed one of my subjects, it's whatever, um, oh yeah, and so the hearts, you only reach in hearts from golden apples and, you know, potions, we don't have potions, we won't for a little while, um, so, you gotta be careful. Now, I'm not the carefulest person, but there's something I call the king tax. It's if I see something of yours I want, and I use discretion, I take it for the king. This is, um, that house right there is Andrew's house. This house is the wood emporium, our lumberjack owns it, Andrew. And so he, for milk you get 16 dogs, for water you get, okay, and as I was with it, okay, so you give them milk you get 16. 16 logs water, 32 logs lava, 64 logs. I don't know why he likes buckets, um, but yeah, he keeps a good uh, supply of things. He's a real hard worker in the kingdom, unlike um, Cheeto. Um, this is the first house of the kingdom, uh, built from the ground up. And so in here, we have the general things. Some people have personal chests, which, you know, nothing's really personal with the king. We have our um, enchanting there. You might notice it seems a little demonic. Well, we're an open kingdom. We believe in all kinds of people. Our priest doesn't necessarily support it, but he's not the king, so it's okay. Down here is where we're working on. Um, we're working on a little thing. We have some stuff down here already, but it's not quite done. It's actually taken lots of time to do. And so, we're still not entirely sure what it will become, but it will become something. We have a mine down this way, and then if we head over to he here, we have the dungeon. Dungeon's down there. Um, you piss me off, you go to the dungeon or die. Just depends on the mood, depends on the day. Like, if it's a Monday, you might die. But if it's like a Tuesday night, I'm asleep, so, you know. You can do it either way. Um, next I should probably go and show off the, um, we have a, how you would say, um, blacksmith over here. And he, uh, is a very, he's an odd smith. He doesn't help out much with this making of things, but he kind of stores stuff for us. Like you can see, he's, this is where we store our stuff for the most part. That's, he, there's his personal stuff. Ooh, donations. Um, uh, no, I don't need to do that. Oh, yeah. I need to throw some armor on. Um, because that's why I've been taking more damage. Ah, yeah, that's why I took damage. I had feather, f I had this enchant on my boots that helped me, um, save, um, damage to my feet when I plunged from a height, but it was sadly not equipped at the time. There's his horse nameless. I don't know why he calls it nameless, but that's up to him. Over here we have Werewolf's Farm and um, Bazaar Farmer's Market um, next to a windmill. And so Werewolf has like the nicest prices. It's like um, for a stack of food, I think it's only like three iron or something like that. Then he also has some nice, some nice villagers in here. Six emeralds for a saddle, which is a hot commodity these days. Um, Interesting thing about werewolf. He's a werewolf. By day, he's not that strong, weaker than usual. But by night, he's a fast fighting machine. So, stay on his good side. He retains memory at night. But you never know. If he thinks he's messing around with you like you buddies do during the day, he might accidentally kill you during the night. Um, so, up here, um, as you will remember, is the church. It's where we have our meetings and such. It's a nice place, um, yeah. Now, okay, there we go. There's the boots working in action. Um, now, yes, I've explained that, uh, why health boost and stuff happen. Um, up here, we have Critics' house. Critics is the law. And by the law, I mean he's the law enforcement, so if someone does something bad, he's the one who will make sure they get punished for it. 
Um, if we go next to one of the towers, we have um, the armory. The armory holds a set of iron armor for anyone who's willing to serve in case of battle. Battle can be with other people, it could be with skeletons, zombies, you name it. Then there's the main watchtower at the top. It keeps track of everything. Make sure there's nothing wrong going. This is my pride and joy. Thordal the Star's Fury. It is the greatest bow you ever seen. Very strong, very effective. Now, my sword on the other hand, it's more of a personal reason why I use the sword. It's not the greatest, but spiders kind of took from me uh, a close friend at one point, and so I never forgave him for that. So I got an enchant put on especially to slay the spiders, who I so hate. Um, so, the yeah, this is Straymont Lands. Yeah, I've already kind of said this, I'm um, just giving it a better detail. This series, um, what we're thinking is it will have seasons. Now, seasons aren't defined by number of episodes. Some people have more episodes than others. But there will be specific episodes that, maybe not everyone, because, you know, not everyone can get together at the same time, but that um, most people will have. And that's kind of how, that's where the main plot progresses in the group episodes. Like, on the side, someone might kill someone, get steal something, get charged with murder, whatever. Those aren't group of, I mean, they are group episodes, but they're not, like, kingdom events you would say so if you're wondering wondering why someone's not there either they couldn't make it or it didn't really apply to them um no we do have some oh i thought i was gonna hurt my feet there again no we do have farms and such and so food isn't an issue normally it has been in the past we've lost people to that but now after everyone's first episode, which uh, will not necessarily won't be uploaded soon, well, today is the 28th or something like that. It'll probably be uploaded in several days from now, and so by then we may have recorded more episodes. But after the first episode, you're not going to have me talking to you. It's going to be me in character, as if I was by myself, um, observing things, checking on things, doing things. Okay. Now, we don't have chat on, and now, I'm explaining this because you might be like, why not? Well, chat kind of gives you an unfair advantage, like, you will see private conversations, that's what, it's to encourage group stuff, and like, if someone dies, well, if no one saw them kill the person, no one knows, so like, if you go on someone's video and post so-and-so killed so-and-so, well, that's not gonna change anything because um we all of us will have general knowledge of pretty much what's happening but our characters won't and because we're playing a character then we won't know in the series what's happening unless we get told by someone or something or you know the gist now um now wait you're thinking to yourself hey this sounds kind of cool i think i might want to join we're not accepting applications yet, but we will be, and that's like a fact. Um, we've actually talked about it, and so we, and so it's been decided that we want to get to a point where people are, are asking to join. Just initially, we have a lot of people as is. Like I think we have 18 or 19 people right now. Now, not everyone can make it to everything, but that's a lot of people, a lot of videos and such. Now, yes, we know we're going to be making more videos, but not everyone's records, and not everyone's going to record as much as some other people. So, that's why we can afford to have a lot of people at the start. Um, so, I think this about wraps it up. If there's something I missed, I'll go edit it in somewhere. Yes, I might edit, maybe, maybe not. And, um, I want to thank you for watching. I really hope you're going to enjoy this. I mean, we've been enjoying it. Um, I mean, I'm not one for survival Minecraft. I mean, well, actually, I am one for it. I like it, but I only like it with friends. So, we did all of this in survival, pretty much. I mean, there were, like, there were command blocks set up for some special things, like, um, werewolf, like I said, during the day, he's weak. During the night, he's strong. So, we had to go and create it for that. But, um, and
and then UHC mode is on, which if you didn't if you didn't already notice the server's on hard. Um, so we're setting it up to where things shouldn't stay the same much. Now you're thinking, wait, you're the king. What happens if the king dies? Well, the royal appointer appoints a new king. He can appoint anyone, including himself. And so there's kind of a chain of command thing. And now, so there might not always be something new built after the episode. It might be, but things will be changing. This is a message board, notice board. Um, it was just set up today, so we don't have anything on it. Um, but yeah, you'll learn more about the characters by watching their videos and watching more videos where they're in them. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning about this. I hope you're intrigued. I I'm interested in playing some more, seeing where it goes. Um, uh, thanks for watching. You're not gonna hear that again because um, I won't know anyone's watching. Um. Have a nice day. Bye.